the homeless here? And why are people not getting drug treatment here? Uh, and, you know, why are people slipping through the cracks uh, of, of our social safety net? I mean, it, it, Vancouver is one of the most unequal cities in the world. You know you have a, home, a housing crisis in this city. Um, and you know you have a drug crisis in this city. And obviously, you know, you create an open space that's open to everyone. It's going to be a magnet, and it's going to be a magnifier for the social problems that exist. But the idea that Canada is just doing fine, uh, I mean, I, I think your remarks show the exact opposite. It's not. And, and Occupy Vancouver, uh, sadly, and, 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 in many, and, in, and in some cases tragically, revealed that. Did you get that big um, pendulum in there? No. To the evolution right of the Occupy movement. Uh, there's been a lot of self-criticism and a lot of people aren't happy with the direction that some of it took. It is evolving, it is entering a new stage. And I mean, it, it's, it's one thing that, you know, we've been building on processes. There's been people doing this for hundreds of years, but we here have not been doing that. I can speak for myself. I mean, I've been conditioned my entire life in a system of hierarchy and sports teams, schools, relationships, I mean, you're always falling in these, these power structures. So, I mean, I think it's very important that we recognize that things are going to be slow going because we need to...